What you see right now is your regular home screen with your regular icons. But wait for it. Look at this. You now have scalable icons, my friends. Or what I'd like to call minuscule, cutesy, teeny weeny widgets. And that's not it. With each of these scalable icons, you can add up to two or three three shortcuts. How cool is that? So Oxygen OS 16 is essentially filled with many such small and interesting upgrades over Oxygen OS 15. So I've tested Oxygen OS extensively for you guys and I am so excited to talk about it. So if you're watching me for the first time, I'm Esha. This is Track and Take English, your destination for detailed, incisive gadget reviews. Let's start with the visual changes first. The always on display now has a full screen option, which is great because the transition now from the AOD to the lock screen looks fantastic. But I still have a soft spot for the seamless AOD, which doesn't have the wallpaper, it just has the text. But when the transition happened, it looks much cooler. With Oxygen OS 16, you also get Flux Theme 2.0 now, and OnePlus has added the one thing that I'd requested, the ability to have custom text. Moreover, there are a few more Flux Theme options like Live Clock, Chase the Light, The Contrarian, and more. These are some really nice options, I must say, and it just enhances the experience of the lock screen itself. By the way, you can also add styles to the wallpaper with one style resembling very close to the wallpaper styles of Nothing OS 4.0. The home screen custom Customization options are also streamlined now to just four settings instead of six. That's because OnePlus has consolidated the settings like icon, transitions, etc. into one consolidated wallpaper and style setting. The classic icon, which is what you start with, is now rounded by default, which is kind of nice actually. I prefer it. But if you want, you can also unround the icons as per your preference. And of course, like I showed at the start, you have scalable icons now added to the freedom of customization. Now with scalable icons, you can add up to two or three shortcuts depending on the size of the icon itself. But the fundamental problem here is that while all app icons are scalable, not all of them have shortcuts. For example, with the settings app, you do get multiple shortcuts and you can add three shortcuts as well. That's not true for many third party apps. Now moving on, the quick settings design has also been upgraded. You're not just limited to two large pills at the top. You can have four now. Also, the toggles are slightly bigger now and make better use of the space. Much better, if you ask me. In fact, I like that the customize and edit buttons have also been moved to the top next to the settings hotkey. Also, did you notice one more thing is that the quick setting tiles now follow the system color theme, which wasn't possible with Oxygen OS 15. As for the notification center design, there's not too much of a difference except for a tiny little change where the time looks slightly bigger. Even with live alerts, there are no upgrades as such. You can still have one or two or even more live alerts showing up in a card stack notification. In the settings app, the layout looks familiar, but it does look cleaner now. So connection and sharing is now device connect. Home screen and lock screen settings are merged into one. And there's a new AI category card grouping all the smart features together. Now in the combined home and lock screen settings, the new UI shows horizontal previews for lock screen styles and swiping down reveals options for fonts, colors, fingerprint animation, edge lighting and blur effect. The app drawer has also had a glow up and there are some bunch of useful design upgrades. For example, the search bar has now moved to the bottom, which makes it easier to access and easier to search, which is also the right way to do it, if you ask me. And there are auto categories created by the system, which is of course very similar to what iOS does. There's one tiny thing I loved about the home screen is that when you swipe through the alphabets in the app drawer, you can actually see all the apps that start with the letter. It's almost like an overlay and it does look pretty cool. And the final visual change is that the smart sidebars design has now been polished to look cleaner. These are really tiny, tiny changes across the visual design and identity of Oxygen OS with Oxygen OS 16. It looks clean, it's consolidated, it's more cohesive. I kind of like it a lot. Now let's talk about the one thing that Oxygen OS is known for, speed and smoothness. And with Oxygen OS 16, it's actually better than ever. Something that I didn't expect at all, considering Oxygen OS 15 itself was fast and smooth. So with Oxygen OS 15, we got parallel processing, but with Oxygen OS 16, we are getting parallel processing 2.0. So in OS 15, opening and minimizing apps in quick succession was really smooth, right? But look at 16, the smoothness has extended to the shelf and the app drawer. So you keep opening and minimizing apps and then switch to the shelf and then switch to the app drawer. All of that is much smoother now. It's not just the app opening and minimizing animations that are smooth, but across the UI, there has been smoothness added as well. Then there's Flow Motion, the new animation engine that makes transitions across system feel like one continuous movement. Whether you're going from always on display to lock screen to home screen, it's all just very seamless. Even the animation inside native apps like Notes, Weather and Files is generally smoother now. So when Oxygen OS 15 was introduced, I was like, how are they going to make this faster than smoother? Clearly, I'm not as smart as the software engineers at one plus. 
This is really good. It's not just looks and suave, by the way. OnePlus has also added more brains in the form of new software and AI features. Let's start with the mind space which we first saw with the OnePlus 13S. Now you can directly capture full screenshots to capture the entire information for AI to summarize all of it better in mind space. It's actually super handy for saving more information within the references that you need. It also supports multiple languages now, including Hindi and Indonesian, although AI search still works only in English. The biggest update to Mindspace, however, is the Google Gemini integration. For example, you can ask Gemini, can you take a look at Mindspace and make an itinerary based on all of the information that I've captured and all of the thoughts that I've captured? And Gemini will then pull all of that information from the saved notes, check live weather via Google and give you a custom itinerary. All you need to do is enable Mindspace inside the Gemini app. You can also long press the plus key to attach audio notes to anything that you save and Mindspace now automatically creates AI collections that grow groups related content. This entire thing is like a really good move because it makes AI feel more personalized. And I'm seeing myself use Mindspace a lot more compared to what it was in version 1.0 in Oxygen OS 15 because I do use Gemini a lot and the integration of Mindspace makes me want to use Mindspace and use Gemini together to see what I can get out of it. And more importantly, the more information that Gemini starts getting from Mindspace, it also starts understanding you better. The next AI bit is that AI Writer is now system-wide accessible. It's built right into the OS so whenever you type just select text tap the AI writer icon and you can rewrite summarize or even expand instantly it even understands the context so if you're writing a caption email or note it tailors its suggestions accordingly apart from this even the doc scanner inside the camera app has some AI upgrades now which is kind of cool because you get tools like AI enhance AI unblur remove glare remove shadows all of this just ensures that whenever you take a shot of a document it looks the best version of it the sound recorder app also now includes live transcript speaker identification, AI summaries, and clear voice for noise-free recordings. Now, inside the Photos app, there's a new AI portrait glow, which uses AI to adjust lighting and fill shadows for better looking shots, especially for portraits. And the built-in video editor now looks more like a proper video editing app with new animated text options and an overall revamped UI. Now, if you're somebody who uses Instagram edit with a OnePlus phone, you might just want to use the inbuilt video editor instead. By the way, my favorite feature now is that you can touch to share files between a OnePlus phone and an iPhone with O plus connect. Yes, the same way you could establish a link between two iPhones, you can do that between a OnePlus and an iPhone now. Lastly, O plus connect also supports Windows PC and Mac. You can mirror your phone screen, control it remotely, sync notifications and clipboard and even access files, making Oxygen OS feel like a proper connected ecosystem. And unlike Apple, where you can only have ecosystem connectivity features between Apple products, with the OnePlus and Oxygen OS uh, you know, 16 experience, you can actually do that cross-platform as well. Of course, all of these new software features and AI features makes Oxygen OS 16 like a really good experience. And I feel like there's a lot more for me to uncover as well now. So Oxygen OS 16 is honestly a bigger upgrade than I expected it to be. It's truly faster, smoother, beautiful, and definitely more intelligent as well. I'll tell you this, this is a proper all-round upgrade to the OS experience that will make a lot of OnePlus users happy. I'm not sure if all of the features will come to all of the OnePlus phones. For example, there could be some, uh, you know, animations that might not come to OnePlus Nord phones. But I know that in your head right now, you're thinking, Esha, tell me when is the rollout for my OnePlus phone? Unfortunately, I don't have that information right now. But the moment we get to know anything, we'll add a pinned comment. Below. So that was the Oxygen OS 16 experience for you guys. What did you guys think of it? I kind of love it. Anyway, I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, keep tracking and stay safe.